Welcome to this Hope to Go. Today I want to talk to you about chosen by God. You know, I read an anonymous quote, when God has selected you, it doesn't matter who else has rejected or neglected you. God's favor outweighs all oppositions. You are a winner. I want to give you some hope to go chosen by God take home truth. If you're in need of a little bit of clarity, number one, life can be difficult, but there is always a choice. Joshua 2.1 says this, Then Joshua, the son of Nun, secretly sent two spies from Shittim. Go, look over the land, he said, especially Jericho. So they went and entered the house of a prostitute named Rahab and stayed there. It wasn't an accident or a coincidence that the spies came to Rahab's house. It was a divine appointment. God had a plan for Rahab's life, just as God has a plan for each of our lives. The spies represented the one true and the living God, and their presence brought Rahab into direct contact with God. Maybe for the first time in her life, in Rahab's meeting screams, no one is too far or messed up for God. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans of good, not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. In other words, you are chosen by God. Number two, Rahab had a choice. Joshua 2, 3 says it this way. So the king of Jericho sent messengers to Rahab. Bring out the men who came to you and entered your house because they have come to spy out the whole land. You know, God allows us to make choices. However, the only thing that we can't choose is the consequences of our actions. Even if our, in our disobedience, God has allowed us a choice. Rahab had to make a critical choice. It was an important choice and not an easy one, but it turned out to be the most important choice in Rahab's life. Her choice would make the difference between life and death and the safety of her entire family. Rahab made a choice and it was a wise choice. When confronted, she protected the spies and sacrificed her own life for God's glory. Joshua 2, 4, it says it this way, yes, the men came to me, but I didn't know where they were from. And when it was time to shut the gates, the men went out and I don't know where the men went. If you go after them quickly, you will capture them. Now, it's difficult to say for sure why Rahab stepped up and maybe stepped out and risked her neck, but she was probably sick of being viewed as nothing more as a, a sexual toy. Maybe she realized that it was the answer to her prayers for a different life. Whatever the case, she chose and she knew that she needed God. And it struck me that there are a lot of Rahabs and Roberts today in a similar situation needing a second chance or a do-over. If that's you, number three, Rahab's choice led to a commitment and action. Joshua 2.12 says it this way, Now then, please swear to me by the Lord that you will show kindness to my family because I have shown kindness to you. Give me a sure sign that you will spare the lives of my father and my mother and my brothers and my sisters and all who belong to them and that you will save us from death. Wow, what a mouthful. Rahab believed God and that belief led her to action. It caused her to protect the spies, God's representatives, and she went a step further. Rahab enthusiastically chose to be a part of God's family. And history records Rahab and her family were the only survivors of the destruction that came upon Jericho, according to Joshua 6, 1 to 27. Rahab acted on her faith, she made a commitment to God, and she received a second chance. And according to Matthew 1, 5, Rahab is a part of the family tree of Jesus. You go, girl. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, Therefore, if anyone be in Christ, they are a new creation. Old things pass away, all things become new. Jesus has already won the victory for you. All you have to do is accept it and allow him to remake you into the chosen vessel he created you to be. It's available for you, and that's your hope to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs>